Hey guys, in this problem we're looking for, well, a few different things, but the first thing we're asked to find is how much force uh, Superman exerts on this train as he's decelerating it. Now we can find the force using Newton's second law, force is equal to mass times acceleration, but in order for this to work, we need to actually know the acceleration of a train. So we first need to use our kinematics equations to find that acceleration. So let's go through the variables. Uh, we know that the final velocity, v, is zero, because we're talking about stopping the train. The initial velocity is 120 kilometers per hour, which we want to convert. If we want to convert this into uh, meters per second in order to do math with it, we need to apply our unit conversion. So for kilometers per hour, that is one meter per second is equal to 3.6 kilometers per hour. So put that into a calculator, and this is equal to 33.33 meters per second. So that is our initial speed, 33.33 meters per second. And we're also given the distance traveled during this time as 150 meters. So if we have our two velocities, and we got the distance, and we're looking for acceleration, then the, the specific kinematics equation we can use is the one stating that final speed squared is equal to initial speed squared plus 2 times the acceleration times the distance traveled. Since the first thing we want to find is acceleration, let's take this formula and algebraically rewrite it to solve for acceleration. So we're going to uh, take v naught squared and subtract that from both sides of the equation, and then we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 delta x, so that we have an equation just in terms of the acceleration. So what we find is that acceleration is equal to v squared minus v naught squared, all divided by 2 times the displacement. So let's account for all of this in our force formula. So the force is equal to the mass, which, well, we know the mass that's given to us, multiplied by the acceleration. So we're then multiplying this by v squared minus v naught squared, all divided by 2 delta naught, or delta x. So all that's left is to start plugging this into a calculator. So the mass is given as 3.6 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 kilograms, and this is being multiplied by, and then the initial speed is 0, minus um, the, or the final speed is 0, but minus the square of the initial speed of 33.33 meters per second, this is squared, and this is divided by 2 times the distance traveled, which is 150 meters. If we put that into a calculator, then we find a force of negative 1.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 newtons. So that is the force that Superman exerts on the train as he's slowing it down. Now, the next part of the problem asks for... How much, for, uh, compare the weight of the train, yeah, yeah, compare the force that we just found to the weight of the train. So we're going to take the force that we just found, so the negative 1.3, and then put it in your calculator. So there's going to be a bunch of other threes. I'm sending the power of six newtons. And we're going to divide this by the train's weight. And remember that we can find weight, weight is mass times the gravitational acceleration. So in this case, we divide by the weight of the train, 3.6 times 10 to the power of 5 kilograms, multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. If we put this into a calculator, and then we also want to divide by 100, or multiply the whole thing by 100, in order to make it a percentage, then we find a percentage of about 39%. So the force is 39% of the weight of the train. The final part of the problem asks the reverse of the first part. How much force does the train exert on Superman? Now remember, now what's important to remember is Newton's third law, which states that if one object exerts some force of, of some magnitude on a second object, then that second object is exerting a force on the first object of the same magnitude, but the opposite direction. So we already found how much force the Superman exerts on the train. So the amount of force that the train exerts on Superman is 
it, it's going to be this exact same amount, but with the signs flipped. So, so we found that the force Superman exerts on the train is negative 1.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 newtons. So that means that the opposite of that, the force that the train exerts on Superman, is the exact same magnitude, but it's the positive amount. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or sharing this channel with your friends, as that'll help me out a lot in making more videos just like this. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.